I'm about to say, I could have just hold it or anything. No. I do it for a camera. Uh -uh. No, no, because my friend camera look ugly. All right, let's do this. Hey, y'all. Hey. Okay. This is take three, okay? <laughs> this is stressful. <laughs> but, um, hello, I'm Chaney. I'm Renasia. And, um, I know, I call her Bruna, but it's Leslie Bruton. But I've known Bruton for about almost four, I guess four years now. We met through a summer camp. And in that summer camp, I was just growing spiritually as a college student, as a young woman. And, you know, she was very strong in her faith. And so I found it, it, it found it easy to talk to her about those type of things. And um, she was like a big sis. I call her big sis. I also call her Bruton. So you don't hear me say Bruton throughout the video. But, um... Throughout that time, once we started to like develop our relationship as like big, big sis, little sis, and like talking about spiritual things and stuff like that, she started to send me devotions in the morning, and I guess other people because it was a big group message. And so, through those, the messages were very inspirational, very clever, a lot of wordplay, but they were really good. Like they were straight to the point, and they were just spot on, especially like just the beginning of your day because she was sending like seven o'clock in the morning, right when you wake up for school. And that would be a great way to start off your devotion. And the devotion, like, thing that, it, no matter what you do in the morning, whether it's just read that or read a scripture or whatever, it was a great start of the day. Um, and it was something that you could look back on throughout the day and throughout the week. Um, so I would periodically, like, through with other people that I met along my journey, like, if I felt like they were going through something, I would send those things to them. And, you know, people really enjoyed it. But one person that, like, really, really liked it was Renasia. And, like, at a time in her life, she was going through something pretty traumatic. And so I sent it to her, and she really, like, received it very well. And to the point, like, when Bruton would forget to, like, or not forget, or she would not send them, like, she would miss the day or so, she would be like, where's she at? Why is she not, why she's not sending one? So um, they were pretty impactful for her. And so, you know, we're very excited for her book and stuff well let me let Renee let talk <laughs> <laughs> okay I've never seen or met Leslie personally until Cheney brought her up mm -hmm. and yes the messages was very encouraging and I read it also read it every morning and I do my scriptures at night but as I was going through my past situation it had motivated me and given me the script I need throughout the day so yes when she does miss a day I'd be like Cheney she might need to check up on her you know because that's literally my goddess of the day so yeah, they have make me feel some peace and happiness in life, and I'm very thankful for those blessings. Yeah, so we're very excited for the book. We hope we can make it to the book signing, but if we don't, you know, we're very much supportive on the other side over here. And who is calling? That's you. That's your phone. No, I swear that's your phone. My phone is. Oh, that's your phone. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but okay, let's start over. She might just cut this one out. But we're very excited for the book. And we are even more excited for the book signing and the coming out of the book and all that. So, you know, if you need me to promote or anything like that, I would be happy to. But, you know, we're just thankful for your obedience and um, your willingness to be bold and to declare that your love for the Lord and to send those things out to family and friends because it has impacted people. So, we thank you. We love you. Bye.